welcome back i'm so glad to see you today again and today i thought we could do a nice winter scene you know i was waking up today in the morning and this scene just got stuck in my mind and i thought today we could do that scene you know and do something different and so we're gonna do that today uh let me run the colors across the screen so the colors you'll need to paint along with me as you see on my palette but i'm still gonna run them and today i have a 16 by uh 20 inch canvas pre-stretched double pine and i added a thin layer of liquid white up here like a third and two thirds on the bottom i painted with black gesso i allowed the black gesso to dry completely and on top of that i put a thin layer of liquid clear on top of the liquid clear i had a mixture of phthalo blue a little bit of a lizard crimson and mountain mixer just a little bit just to darken it up as you can see it's a very transparent color since you could still see the black and you don't see the blue rather than that we're all ready to go so let's get started with today's uh picture or painting people say it's a picture others say it's a painting with the two inch brush i'm just tapping into some phthalo blue come up here let's just dance in a nice happy little sky as i mentioned this is going to be a nice winter scene uh, i'm not sure if it's going to be a cold cold winter scene but it's going to just be a winter scene we haven't done that in a while you know i woke up today and i said thank you god thank you for giving me this idea this image to my mind so i'm just going to do crisscross as you can see almost like if you're doing x strokes just like so now let me move on to a one inch and just go into some titanium white Let's come up here. Let's do. Let's dance in or tap in a little cloud. Okay. You want to tap out that dirty paint and then tap in some new clean paint afterwards. So I just tap out my brush. And then pull it again through the white. And all I'm doing is just tapping. Tapping, tapping, tapping. And pull it again. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and clean this brush. We do a mixture of water, soap, and uh, oil. Just a mixture of all those three. Just to clean my brush. Now, let's get another one inch brush. Let's come up here with the corner of your brush. All you're going to do is just go in circles and blend the uh, one side that you think is the bottom I think this should be the bottom and just go in circles with the top corner of your brush this is where it all comes together at least for the clouds and I'm just gonna lift up lift up And go across. And just like that, you have a nice, simple sky. You could blend it out more. Or you could leave it as is. I'm going to just blend it a bit out more. Now, 
you can pull it down, you can go side to side. But I'm going to leave it at there. I don't want to take too much time doing that. Okay, over here in the bottom, since it's going to be like a winter scene, let's go ahead. Let's get a one inch. Pull it through some white paint. You got to decide where your snow will start and end. So I think comes around here, something around there. Just sketch in. And now it's reacting with that blue that we have underneath. Okay, just beat the brush to remove the axis. Let's come over here on this side. And just bring it together like that. Kind of looks like snow already. Okay. Now, let me grab a trusted old palette knife. Let's pull out some white and cut a roll. Let's come up here. Or you know what? I want to make it into water. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue. Just in case it doesn't pick it up at the beginning. And all I'm doing is just tapping my palette knife to create what seems to be some water out in the in the snow, like a little like a little lake or something. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Let me clean off my knife. Now, the reason why I left it blank right there was because I was going to come back with the fan brush, pick up some of that blue and white, and just make it seem like a little crash of water. And you could push upwards to create the illusion of some foam of that water splash. Something around there. Let me put in a little rock. So I was painting yesterday. So I have the paint ready. But it's just a mixture of uh, red, green. And a little yellow just to spice it up a bit. Okay. I'm going to add a highlight that makes it seem like there's no covering that rock. Somewhat. It's up to you. This is your painting after all. Okay. Now, I want to make it seem like there's a cliff. So I'm going to pull out some of that brown, I'm going to pull out some white, cut a roll, let's come up here and just graze that canvas. Well, I think Okay, just bring some down, it's been a little windy today, but it's great because, um, oh sorry for kind of hiding my palette, 
But I was saying it's great because it's been really sunny. And the air kind of cools it down a bit. I'm going to leave that area like that. And I think I'm going to scratch off here. I don't know why I put it. Let me just wipe off my knife. And with, it could be a wipey, but I prefer a dry wipe. Just to not remove the paint underneath. Because I chose, actually, to make it come right out to around there. So maybe I should have covered that spot, but no problem. You can scratch off if you're not satisfied and just go over it again. So I think that might be help to layer in some of that highlight or dirt or cliff or whatever so I'm gonna just wipe off oh yeah that did help I'm trying to show you guys all the tricks I'm not trying to hold back that's why I'm trying to show but also try to learn myself one can never stop learning Some dark. Okay. Going back to that other layer. Some white. Something like that. And just fill it in. Okay, and same thing I'm gonna do for the other side. Make it almost like two cliffs, you know? All right. So now, let's go ahead, let's grab, you know what, I'm going to grab a 2 inch, what the hell, with the 2 inch, go into some titanium white paint, tap it into your brush, both sides to allow even distribution into your bristles, and just come up here, and there's a waterfall. Okay, just create a little bit of mist, something out there, you know? Now, I'm going to get that same dry wipe, if I can find it again, here it is. Now I'm just going to kind of wipe off the bottom layer. So my highlights can go on easily. Something like so. Some brown. Cut a roll. Let's start over here. Oh, first I gotta put the bad layer, I guess. And then I can put in the good one. All right, scratch it off. Hey, but if it works, it works. Don't do it because 
maybe it's too much work or whatever, but if it works for you, it works for you. And just go along with it. I think because it's paint and it's removing the other layer somehow. Maybe a little dark. That's too dark. There we go. That's somewhat better. And all I'm doing is just letting it go. No pressure. Like if you're painting a mountain. Okay. Now. I'm going to just. Almost like clean my knife here, somewhat, and then wipe it off. Still doesn't want to get it. <laughs> It's getting it somewhat. Okay. All, all I'm going to do is redo that front. Because the front I wasn't satisfied with. And if you're not satisfied with the part, just redo it. Okay, now I'm going to just play back and forth with that third color because I feel like it's too light, but then we're also going to have to cover it with snow, or at least I think, in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that, and let's come up here, some white into my 2 inch, really tap it, and then let's come up here, and let's just add in some ice water. Some cold water that's out there. Okay. Now if I wanted to, I could go into a little bit of blue. Okay. I'm going to go into some more white. And I am going to highlight some of the snow a bit more just like so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put in Maybe let's put a icy tree. So some mountain mixture, some brown, and maybe a little bit of yellow, just to sort of tint the green, you know? Pile it up. And I think this tree should be an upwards tree. But what I mean by upwards is that the bristles will be facing upwards rather than down. So let's come up here. 
uh, right around here. And then just push up your bristles. I'm not really that good in um, upwards trees, you could call it, because I'm so used to doing the leaves facing downwards. But I think that tree belongs there. Okay. I'm just mixing up more paint on my brush. Maybe there's a little bit of a shadow. Okay. Pull across lightly. Now, with the fan brush that we're using for the lake or whatever, I'm going to load it in through some white. And I'm going to pull it through a little bit of liquid white just to thin it out a bit. Just a little bit. Let's, oh wait. Let's come up here. And let's put in a tree trunk for this guy. Okay, just like so. The reason why I put liquid white onto my fan brush is because a thin paint will stick on better to a thicker paint. So instead of struggling, I just do that. Look at that already. Isn't that great? I hope you guys try this out. This is a nice one. Nice and simple one. Okay. I'm going to pull out some white. Now, cut a row. Let's come up here. Almost make it look like... Or, your goal is to make it look like snow. Or at least my goal. Like snow over that dirt. Pick up some more white if you finish it. And just repeat it. As, until you're satisfied with it. This would be a very, very cold place. Especially around winter time. Oof. Don't tell me about it. Okay. Just like so. Might have to reinstate a little bit some of that dirt. I mean, not dirt, some of that snow. My bad. I'm thinking about dirt. A little bit back to that snow. Okay. 
just until you're satisfied with your painting. Okay, just tap in some white. Now, let's go ahead, run it through some mountain mixture, your one inch through one side. Let's pop in a couple of bushes here and there. Same thing on the other side. Just pop it right up. Okay. A little bit of liquid white. Some white. And just touch it. Just like that, you can simply make some bushes. Okay, just tap. It's going to be hard to tell the difference because they are all going to be white. Since it's snow, you can't tell which bush is which, but you know they're bushes. Okay, let me get my palette knife, scratch in some sticks, twigs, and I think, I think that's it for today's painting. I'm going to start signing off this painting. Um, while I do a little bit of detail. But I hope you enjoyed this painting. As much as I did doing it for you. Um, it's a nice simple painting. That I hope you try out. It's a, The process is more of preparing your canvas. Rather than that it's pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed this painting. And subscribe. You know doesn't cost you anything until next time i hope you enjoy this painting and i hope you try it out goodbye my friends